like I said, we had a good 10 year run where at my crib, I was making the beats. Mm -hmm. So cats would show up at my house for 10 years straight every Saturday. No phone call, just for cell phones, just for like cats would just show up, case of beer, half ounce. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So we smoking and drinking until three, four, five, six o'clock in the morning, right. and making music, just knocking these songs out. Okay. We did that for 10 years. Then my man Tech passed and shit, man. It was like, yo. It wasn't what, the same no more. It wasn't the same. And my man went off and got his HDL, DHL license. Like, everybody went off and did their thing. Yeah. But I had all this music. Right. And it was like, what the fuck am I going to do? What am I going to do with all this music? So I was like, yo. I was, I was like, man, what if you had a radio station? Mm. Oh! This is crazy! <laughs> it's your boy, Mookie, getting money this morning, likely. Today we got another episode of No Scope TV. We got the homie Gunner G's in the building, yes, man. Sir. Shout out Gunner G's, man. If you don't know Gunner G's, man, he's the CEO, UTM Media, you know I'm saying. Nest Recording Studios, man. One of the uh, longest going recording studios out Philly, man. And uh, what's up with you, bro? How you been, man? I've been good, man. How you been, bro? Oh, man, been shit, you, man. man. It's been a long time no see, bro. You we went through a pandemic, yeah, side. Uh, a real pandemic, a real thing. But we back out here. We bigger than ever. I see you then fucking upgraded, <laughs> updated, doing hey, your man. thing, bro. Yes, you sir. always been doing your thing behind the scenes. Matter of fact, we just gonna get right into it, bro. What got you into the Philly independent music scene? Cause I know you don't just deal with everything. I mean, just hip hop. I know you just all around Fair everything, right. man. Well, a lot of people might not know. I did do a little rapping in my day. You did a little, <laughs> a little one too. A little ribbity bobbity. I think we all name. did, man. You I think mean? that's as a black man, that's like an avenue that you gotta explore. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was either that or you know hitting them streets. Up. Right, right. And I actually did a little bit of that too, but I mean, that's either here or there. So you was in a group, but yeah, you started doing your soul thing. Beautiful soul black thing. children was the name of my group, man. Okay. I mean, so we did like a good ten year run, man. Uh, okay, so y'all was out here. Out I here. was the producer. First okay. of all, the group. And uh, my man Tech Slash, my man Mo Wiggity, mm -hmm. R.I.P. Tech Slash. The reason why we stopped is because my man Tech Slash passed. Oh, you know shit. I mean? Sorry so, to hear about that. Thank you, Actually, man. I mean, I've been heard about that. But for those who don't know, Tech Slash, R.I.P. Tech so. Slash Tuesday, you know what I mean? Always on. But uh, when my man Tech Slash passed, mm -hmm. it was like, like I said, we had a good 10-year run where at my crib, I was making the beats. Mm -hmm. So cats would show up at my house for 10 years straight every Saturday. No phone call, just for cell phones, just for, like, cats would just show up, case of beer, half ounce. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So we smoking and drinking until 3, 4, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, right. and making music, just knocking these songs out. Okay. We did that for 10 years. Then my man Tech passed and shit, man. It was like, yo. It wasn't what? the same no more. It wasn't the same. And my man went off and got his HDL, DHL license. Like, everybody went off and did their thing. Yeah. But I had all this music. Right. And it was like, what the fuck am I going to do? What am I going to do with all this music? So I was like, yo. I was, I was like, man, what if we had a radio station? Mm. I'm like, Because I had, yo, hundreds of songs we did, son. So I'm like, this hours is radio of play. Hours of music. I'm like, this is radio station material. So I went online and started looking. I was like, yo, I mean, can you even start your own radio station? Right. And I found something, man. I signed up with this company, and I've been with the same company. Uh, listen to your listen to myradio.com mm, okay. for the past ten years now, man. UTM Radio will be ten years in 2025. Damn. But uh, yeah, man. So it started off with Text Slash Tuesday, then it went to Marley Monday, mm. and before I knew it, man, THE was hit me. Shout out to THE from the Two Hour Show. Shout out to the Two Hour Show. Uh, DJ Soul Buck hit me. Was like, Yo, man, we listening to your station over there. I'm like, What? You know what I mean? Because <laughs> right. it was just like a novelty for me, man. I just like right. that. I was sending it to my friends, man, my family, like, yo, I'm playing our music on the internet. Mm. You know what I mean? Just sending the link out to people. Right. And they was listening, was like, yo, we thinking about bringing the two hour show over there, man, and, you know what I mean, working with y'all guys. Oh, wow. It was just me. You know what I mean? I was like, yeah, yeah you come work with us guys. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you bring know I mean? so, to the team. So, yeah, I mean, that's basically how that went, man. And, like I said, me having a hip hop background already doing hip hop and producing music and stuff, mm -hmm. I was always out at shows. Like when Vulture was popping, when the truck was popping, people yeah. would tell you, man, I was out there with them cameras, man. Yeah. I was out there shooting that media. And this was like before I even was even thinking about what I'm doing now. Like I didn't right. I didn't think I still have all this footage and stuff, man. So wow. now it's like now I have a Roku channel. That's okay. UTM TV. 
right. And now I'm like, like I was just telling you, I want to produce this stuff that I have. I don't want to just put it online. I want to just YouTube it. I don't want to just put it out. I want to make a show out of some of this stuff, man. Because, man, I saw I had great events, man. Throwback stuff, so much good stuff. Footage of you, like footage of me footage, coming up, bro. You know what I mean? All this old stuff. You yeah. know, I was out there, so yeah. I was out at all these shows, man. I got all this stuff, and it's like, yo, this is the stuff I watch on TV. I'm just watching TV, like, yo, that's all they do is play old stuff, right? I'm like, look at all this old shit. You know? Right, like, right. Why can't I play our old stuff on TV? You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. that's how the TV station started. It's like now I'm just media, I'm media out, and it's like. I think I might have found my niche, man. I think because either way, if tech wouldn't have passed, I think we would have been doing something like this anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'm like just trying to keep the tradition going, man. Okay. Long-winded answer. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? We got time. We got time today. So you said 10 years you've been doing this. And then even before that, you was in a, uh, a group or whatever, and you mm -hmm. was producing. Mm -hmm. So what was the under... Now, I don't even like calling it underground. I like to call it independent mm -hmm. because it's people are, that's out here that we will call underground is right, out here right, getting it more right, than right. more than the people that's supposed to be getting I mean it. that's basically what UTM is man I call it under the middle under the middle baby like under the middle is if you don't know is basically you got your high class mm -hmm. you got your middle class right and what else you got? You got the people <laughs> under the middle. We just down here. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, people under, that's where yeah. we coming at, man. We like under the middle. They try to act like, oh, everybody's middle class. Everybody's here. Everybody's here. But we all don't get treated that way. Okay. Like, us, we know we treated like under the middle. Right. And you can't barely mention it. It's rough. You know I mean, you can't hardly mention yeah. about what goes on under here. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. That's what my platform. I want to use my platform, man, for people under the middle. Okay. So people can see what's going on under here. The TV station. I want all that stuff to just be independent stuff, mm -hmm. under the middle stuff, man. Because you know, at some point, the machine will come looking. <laughs> that's, that's, come what they, looking. that's what they look. That's what they still. And, and I want that. I want them to do that. I, that's why I say I want everything to be produced already. Right. Right. So when they come looking, it's like we don't need. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. We got our own studios. We got our own lots. We got. I mean, we got our yeah. own stuff. Just you know, put that. In, put it in the bank is what I like to tell them. So you've been around, even ten plus years. It's been more than that. You've been. To all the events, what was some of the greatest or one of the, your best memories that you've seen, like being on this independent scene, like shows or club nights? That what was like one event that you can remember that was like one of them legends? Man, I think it might have been a joint that we was on Beautiful Black Children back in the day. And uh, shout out to Jay Grady. This was on the Lyrically Fit ticket. Shout out ticket. to Jay Grady. He put me on my first day. And we opened up for uh, Sadat X. Wow. <laughs> at the Trot. I think I was there. And Trash Man was on the ticket. I think I was and there. He came through with that big head. That's when he was rolling around with that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He had just like this this boy with him who had the big head on him and shit. It was so wild. That, and that was like when I was first met Trash Man. Trash Man is my man. Bro. Yo, he gave me chills thinking about it, son. Yeah, because really you know I was the truck is closed now. Yeah, you know I, mean? truck, I did a lot of, I did a shout out to Jay Grady, bro. Yo, shout that out was to my Jay proving Grady. grounds, bro. That's where I first canceled. I first Yo, shout made out to, my sh shout out to those guys, man, because I wouldn't yeah, be doing man. none of this. Them I, and R.I.P. Tech Slash. I used to pick up flyers and we'd be on it. Beautiful black children. Mm -hmm. He'd just be like, because him and Jay Grady was like this. Wow. You know what I mean, I would just pick up flyers. And, and this is like, lyrically fit days. This is lyrically fit days, son. Wow. You know what I mean, I would just pick up flyers and he'd just throw flyers. Y'all pick it up. He'd be like, I'm like, uh, how? And you know what I mean? But yeah. he, had, he always had his own tickets opening up for guys. Yeah. You know what I mean, we opened up for so many people, man. Names yeah. that I, I slipped names. I was like, damn. Damn, me and my man Mo was talking. I was like, damn. That's crazy because Sadat. That's Sadat X, X John, I remember, man. That's the first time I really ever heard her, like, because. I missed the Wu-Tang wave. When Wu-Tang was popping, mm. I was like five years old. Mm. So, but that's the first time I ever heard about the five percent or shit. Right. And then I, I bust, I was busting it up with like some of the people on his team. It was like, like what's the five percenter and all that. Right. And it's like, wow, bro. Yeah. It's a small world. Cause yeah. when you said y'all Sadat X, Trash Man, all yeah. that, Jake Grady, that was fit. a wild bro. Night. I was in that jump, bro. Was a wild it's crazy because I was like. And damn. I remember having my little punk camera, you know what I mean, on the side watching them perform. Yeah. I was like, damn. Yeah. Like, it was wild. The truck was, was crazy, it. bro. It was a crazy. Lot of, a, lot of, a lot of Philly legends was made at the yeah, truck, man. bro. Yeah, man. We did a, uh, shout out to Timmy Tanzania. We did a, uh, a 
a soulful Sunday with Timmy Tanzania in there. Mm -hmm. He came through with the Urban Shamans. He played bass. He was the live. He was the MC. Like Timmy Tanzania is a genius, man. Yeah. A musical genius. Shout out to him, bro. So make sure you catch that show, man. Yeah, shout out to Timmy three to six on Monday. Monday. Yo, man, people be hitting us from Japan. You know I mean, while the show was on, like this thing is so great. We like blows our minds, son. Like, uh, so yeah, shout out to Timmy, man. So yeah, man, lyrically fit UTM radio. Oh, shout out to Jay, that, that guy, man. Yeah, I gotta Yo, get him on this joint. Uh, uh, funny story, mm -hmm. he's actually in my inbox. Not in my inbox, but he's actually. Uh, I'm talking to him now. But he been hitting me all these times, man. You know how Facebook is, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. He be like triple friends. I ain't seen Jay Grady since like 2001, 2002. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, so all of a yeah. sudden, this kind he started commenting on stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. On like THC stuff, THC stuff. So I'm like, yo, this is Jay Grady? Then I go to the page, it was like two pictures there. I'm like, nope, ain't him. He probably don't mess with the social media like That's that. what it is, man. That's what it is. So here it is like 2023 now. And he's just like from the same damn account, you know what I mean? Yeah. Talking to people, holding conversations. I'm like, I had to get in this gym. I was like, oh shit, Jay, I didn't know that was Jay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was straight ignoring it. He was like, yo, what up, bro? What up? I don't play that on Facebook. Man. Yeah, I, I don't, I I don't that. answer the joint when it rings. Yeah. That's why I was like, yo, here go my number, man. Yeah. Because you never know who hitting you. Yeah. You know what I mean, talking about, yeah, yo, can you just let me, can yeah. you get your cash app real quick? Yeah, it's bro. Like, that's crazy. Because I might give you $10. Somebody, yeah, yeah ass, somebody is still your shit and then be out here acting like they you asking people for cash. And I'm up. the type of nigga, I might give you $10 to ask for. They need $10 more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. It's like, bro, that you wasn't like, that me. Wasn't fucking me, though. Why would I come in and ask you for $10? But man, but yeah, shout out to Jay Grady. Shout out to Jay the Grady. real Jay Grady. <laughs> UTM Radio, bro. All right, y'all got a lot of shows going on UTM Radio. It's been a lot of years. You got the, the Hour Show, the Ryan Show. How did you even go about setting up, uh, like setting up the talent and the shows for that? Like, how did that even go? How did that even come it about? It was crazy, man. It's like, like you was just telling me earlier about how your stuff kind of fell. Like you were telling me all the stuff you, the tragedies you went through during yeah. the pandemic. And how things just like fell back into place for you. Yeah. Like that's kind of how these shows happen. I Man, I know MJ. Shout yeah. out to MJ. She hooked me up with uh with uh Rampage. That's how I got his show, Mixed Show Madness. Okay. And with the Ryan show, it was a it's a long story. We opened up for Mr. No matter of fact, we shot a show for Mr. Cheeks. Wow. And his management ended up reaching back out and was like, yo, you know what I mean, we want to come do do an interview or whatever, and put me in touch with the Ryan show. So the Ryan Show show, what we was doing was like, yo, we trying to get a FM station in Philly. Mm. You know anything about that? So I'm messing with WJ uh, in, in JYN, oh, you okay. know, big uh, big cousin them. Yeah. So I'm trying to put them together like that. But in the meanwhile, he was like, yo, why don't I just send you these shows? You know what I mean? Right. Just before they doing them like they doing them now. Now they doing like you doing. They on the road and they doing all this shit all over the place. But he just started sending me his shows. They like five years in with me now. Wow. You know what I mean? And like I told you, the two-hour show story, Timmy was sort of similar. I mean, I used to have Hype City. Like, they yeah, used to shout out to Hype City. Shout out to Gliss. Shout out to Gliss. Shout out to Eli. Shout out to Eli. That's a shout out to Eli. That's yeah. my man. It's like, man. those are my guys. Man, man, both of them are guys, man. That's crazy, man. Straight up. Shit's so small, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Shit is <laughs> so small, man. man. We did the thing with Hype City, like, we... we we did the I thing did. with them for years, man. Same shit. Hype City Showcases, bro. Yep. This is a place where you had to be there, bro. Yep. That shit is yep. some clutch. Damn, bro. We got. We might got to get together and make a yeah. documentary yeah, or something, man. bro. Yo, the UTM I got documentary, too. man. The Under the Middle yeah. documentary. So. Yo, and that was the premise, too. Not to keep cutting you off. Yeah. That was the premise, too, of Under the Middle. Yeah. I wanted to make a documentary, man, about people under the middle, son. Yeah. Like, hardworking people. I call them the oil of the machine. Like, right. my brother get up, like you said, you work the third shift. My brother get up five, four o'clock in the morning to get to work at six. Mm. You know what I mean? Every morning, faithfully, son. Like, that, to right. me, that's under the middle shit, son. Right. Those are the stories that's not getting told. Right. Don't nobody talk about that. The nobody. everyday working man, bro. Yeah. Don't. Man, I'm just trying to get my paycheck, baby. First thing they throw on us is a millionaire, motherfucker. Somebody's making, they already made it, man. They already right. did it. Tell the stories, man, that kids can look at and be like, oh, damn, oh, damn, that's what it takes to do that? Yeah, that's what it takes to do that. So under the middle stuff, man. All right, so being an owner of a studio, 
a studio that had a lot of freestyles, a lot of dope moments coming through. I even did a freestyle that's on YouTube yeah. in that John. Shout out to Net Studio, the, even the old John. Yes. I'm definitely gonna come do my thing in the new John. You, you got me inspired by this. This is beautiful <laughs> right you, now. Uh, tell me about some of the legendary freestyle sessions or anybody that came through, recorded it. A crazy ass track that oh became some or just give me a give me a crazy ass I need a crazy ass oh God, that studio so story many, man so many names man to top it off man the 15th anniversary we had RJ Payne in the house how the RJ Payne. before he even blew he's doing this fucking thing before he was even thinking about that's you a mean, long time that was a long mean, time shout out to Chrissy Mack because she set that up so the that was a good man. John that's yeah the, the rain man, man. you know what I mean so we had him in there, man. Oh, I gotta bring up Mad Squabbles. He always Shout out to Mad Squabbles. He He's always, still killing it. Yo, I just posted, reposted something yeah. the other day. I mean, he always killed it. Yo, it was so much, so many, man. I, I, I'm going, my brain's going blank. <laughs> thousands, you, like you said, thousands, hundreds of rappers, yeah, man. man. Like I could just think of a few man, at the time, okay? But yeah, Squabbles come to mind, man, because he's just super rapper. I call yeah. him super rapper. Yeah, bro. He's just the rapidy, rapidy, rapid. Bro, one thing about- We used about, to do Jones in the booth. Like, we had everybody in the yeah. booth, man. We had Del P in the booth. Everybody, bro. Like, we had you in there. Yeah. We had, we had everybody, everybody, 30 bro. Nova, bless her. You wasn't really, if you ain't really slide through UTM uh, and come do uh, a freestyle, you, uh, at least you gotta do the two hour show. You gotta do, if you ain't really do that back yeah. then, yeah. And you was in the area. I, yeah. I clearly can't say you wasn't really. Come on, man. I don't want. I don't want to hate on nobody. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but you might. Saying, he wasn't doing too there's much. There's a couple people out there that ain't never been. But that's yeah. all right, <laughs> it ain't a lot though, man. It ain't, it ain't a lot. If you was really out here in these streets, out here on the on the independent music scene, yes sir, in Philly, yes sir, you had to come through there. Yeah, especially during was, that time. I was in the cut too. Yeah, people love to come up there, man. They was right. Like, Yo, this is crazy. Man, so. God, they hate me because I'm on the fourth floor. I'm <laughs> I mean, I lost two pounds coming up here. I might just come up here more often. It's crazy. <laughs> it's got to be a, a weekly routine. We going to them steps, man. I'm trying to tell if you. I get, if I get back up. But yeah, man, UTM Radio. It wasn't any uh, legendary like tracks recorded there or anything um, that that stayed in rotation. That's two I'm saying remember. Mike Hands came up and cut. On the fly to a beat that I made, wow. just I, on the fly, the two-hour show intro. Okay, two All hour right. words in the word power. You got participant power. To do. Like he just did that out of nowhere. He was like, "Yo, that's your beat." It's <laughs> like I'm gonna cut something to that. That's the best thing about just I was being like, in the studio. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just he just went around in the booth. That yeah. We were set up for the show, though. We weren't even set up for recording. You know what I mean? Recording a person in a show is two different things. Yeah. But yeah. Mike Hands was like, "Yo, that's you." I'm gonna record something of that real quick. And he went in there and just said something about the two hour show, mentioned UTM radio, just mentioned everybody, and then at the end said a little outro. This is Mike Haynes, we had UTM radio, da, 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 two hour show, we in the building. We was looking at each other like, what, what the fuck was that? Right, <laughs> then, right. Went, so you had that shit on your mind. Like, yeah, man, cool. Was, I'm, uh, yo, make him, I'm make him we still guy. use it. Yeah. We yeah. still use that. Man, UTM Radio, we got Gunny G's in here, man. Easy. Being a black entrepreneur, what inspired you to just like, to even just do this instead of just going to get a real job? I say it all the time, man. As long as these crazy- Not even a real job. No, I feel Slavery. you. I, feel, I say it all the time, though. It's the crazy motherfuckers around me. Right. They keep showing up, man. My old place I was at, I was like, yo, if I can, make enough, you know what I mean, with these podcasts, with these shows, to pay the rent. Mm -hmm. I'll be fine. As long as I don't have to come out of my pocket paying my rent, I'll be fine. And I did that. You know what I mean? So now yeah. I'm in my new spot, and it was like, I, I still have to pay the rent, but the people that was with me, that's still with me, they understood everything had to be still, had to be faithful. It's like, it wasn't just me at the time. I mean, it wasn't just me at one time. But then, I, t I had to, it couldn't just be me. I had to bring on a lot of other people. And that's what alleviates a lot of the stress and a lot of the, the bills and all that. Right. Man, it's about having the people with you, man. Like, you can't do it yourself. You man. can't. That's what we were talking about when you first came in. Yeah. Like, I used to do a lot of this by myself, but now I got a few people that help me, you know, keep it on the straight and narrow. But that's the, the main advice that I can give about that, man. I can say, keep, 
people around you that's going to help you. That's going to push you. You know, I, almost, I think I lost that question. What was <laughs> man, we was up here smoking that girl. I ain't going to lie to the people, man. I ain't going to lie to the people. Shit, but either way, you've been around for multiple years in the Philly scene. You Philly born and bred. Yes, sir. North side. North side. You know what I'm saying? I'm back So in you've North been Philly. in and you in you seen it all from then until now. This is a kind of a I would say controversial question that's going around on the internet in our our local tri state internet, I will say, not big. But who is the top five rapper? Or artists, they don't even have. Uh, nah, I'm, I'm gonna keep it hip hop. In hip hop, male, female, your top five Philly. Who did it out of Philly? Top five. Damn. Gotta be rappers. I mean, because I mean, music, I, I fuck with people. Business? I fuck with people personalities, man. Like I fuck okay. with Jazzy Jeff. Okay, all right. I, mean, I fuck with Jazzy Jeff. Can't stand That's me. Some Fresh Prince. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right I, ain't gonna, so. I ain't gonna ruin your podcast. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm not even going to that. I'm just gonna leave that there. All right. But so we're gonna go Jazzy Jeff. All he's, right. he's one of my guys. He's, he's one of my top five Philly guys. Yeah. Um, let me see, man. You got four more. Damn. I know I'm gonna be Del P be pissed if I didn't put in my top five. Yeah, shout out to Del P, man. So I, I gotta get one there. with Del P, man. I gotta put. Uh, I gotta put uh, Doodlebug there too. You know, he from Philly. He just live in Cali. Facts. You know what right. I mean? So I gotta put my man Doodlebug in there. Um, damn, man. You know I mean, I'm trying to change my ways, but I gotta put my man Beans in there. Yeah, you <laughs> you know what I mean? Know. I gotta put man, Beans in there. Man. If only Beans could have just stayed out the street, man. Unfortunate. <sighs> Beans is yeah. one of them, bro. He's grown now, though. He's doing grown stuff. Yeah, man. yeah. He's nah, he's now. doing his thing. But I'm talking about when he had yeah. the, had the, the but he was machine attached behind him. That's what I was about to say. He's attached to the machine, though. Yeah. You can't really do it like, man. Yeah. You can't, you can't really do it. And, I heard a story he about. He's too real to probably play the game. I heard a story about why he didn't do as much. I heard he couldn't. You know oh, because I mean? he couldn't surpass. Yeah. 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 So it was like he yeah. wasn't going to do what he was supposed to do anyway uh, I, where yeah. he was at. And that he sense. did what he was able to do. I still play that state property shit to this day. Yeah, Shout out them niggas just crazy. at the Roots that, picnic. Like they said, they could have, you seen what I saw. You know what I mean? He could have been bigger than that. Yeah. But you can only get for so big. Right, right. But, uh, yeah, uh, what was that? Four. I, I got to put, o, four, right? I gotta yeah. put OT the real on the jaw, son. They, this Fuck is me. nowadays, Jeez. guys. These is nowadays, guys. And that's you know what, what I, mean? I was, I actually... I'm glad and I don't want to put them in no order either. I want to leave it just like that. Yeah, ain't no I, I order. I substituted it just, Will Smith they, for uh, J, uh, Jazzy <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> they they yeah, all man. the same. They all in the same. They the, they at the top. That's who. Yeah. That's who you people. Are. But you if I had that. to pick a machine guy, Jazzy Jeff would be my machine yeah. guy. Yeah, and those would be my. Other and I and I, I trust the judgment because you've been around. You've been yeah. around this shit for a long time. It's about time. the truth. It's about realness, man. Yeah. It's about can I can I trust what you're saying? Right. You right. know what I mean? I, I'm yeah. from the era of oh he bullshitting. Or mm-hmm. oh damn, that go. it's like now you can't tell. Yeah, you, you hear a song is so beautifully produced, you be like, damn, he had to kill those yeah. people. Right, <laughs> he Shit. Killed nobody. It's even worse now. It could be AI. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, Might not even be him. Might not even be him. He's not voice. even rapping the shit. He just. A- he Milli Vanilli in Yo, that I'm joke. I'm telling you now, don't, don't get my hands on the technology, sir. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I'm practicing. My I mean, all, uh, I'm practicing. off the topic, they about to drop a Milli Vanilli <laughs> biopic. Oh, I'm like, damn. I mean, I guess it's interesting. I'm saying, but they was... They were, I guess they about the whole story about what, how, what, how it came about. I mean, get your money. Nah, I ain't going to hear Everybody trying to get that. that. That shit probably dropping on VH1. <laughs> not watching that. <laughs> I don't L- think it's going to be L- in the movie. Yep, I'm not watching it. I, mean, so yeah, I don't think it's going to be in the movies. But. Cheaters, boo. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? How did he get in there, son? But, all right, besides OT The Real, because he's one of them. Like, he's, he's really gone. one of them. He's gone. Uh, is there any uh, younger guys coming up or any movements that you see going on right now oh. that you feel it might be about to pop, about to be next up? Anything that you've been seeing? Like I said, Squabble's always going to be the top of my list. Back. Uh, the boy, Rude Boy, cuts over here at uh, Marston House. Uh, shout out to Rude yeah, Boy. I mean, he's definitely his craft. He's molded his craft more. Yeah. Like, he used to be on Hype City Show. Yeah. This young boy from town. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean? But now he's gone. Like, he, he understands... He understands the craft now. You know what okay. I mean, before he was just rapping. 
Yeah, now he's producing music. Shout out to Rube. And that's a thing. That's a thing. It's a difference between just rapping and you know, you yeah. artists. You know, yeah. I mean? you, know you produce Me and music. Me my man was just talking about that earlier. It, it's a difference. You got to be more than just good at rapping. Yeah. You and got, you definitely got to be more than just good at rapping about people. Rappers, you can't just be an angry rapper. Right. And But you, you definitely mad. have to rap about something. <laughs> yeah. You just mad at other rappers. And it can't <laughs> always be angry. Yep. And just like it can't always, because I'm my thing is it can't always be dancing. Right. Like I'm, I'm, I'm good with a little anger in the rap, but yeah. what's it about? Like yeah. you said, you can't just be hating. Yeah. Okay, just, I'm hating that motherfucker. Like, but <laughs> yeah. if you got good anger, like, like I said, RJ Payne is a good angry guy to me. Yeah, shout out RJ Payne. You can hear this because he got heartfelt songs. You be yeah. like, Bro, really was on a journey, bro. I've been seeing the face on. You be like, Damn. I was seeing him since the DVD days. Yes. Bro, man. really took that yes. journey. And that's yes. really how long yes. this shit take, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Not for everybody. To I do it your way. No, to yeah. do it right. Yeah. To do it your way. Look, that's the journey we all on, son. Yeah. We all could you can't attach ourselves to the machine. That. You can't we can, do nothing but respect. We can all attach ourselves to the machine at any point, any time, any day we want. They waiting on it. Right. Here, take my crap and you know what right. I mean? take all my money, too. Take care of all, take care of it. <laughs> but, you know what I mean? It takes years and years, and, you know what I mean? To, you might even go in one time. You might get in the machine and shit. Right. You know what I mean? Get in there and, like I tell motherfuckers, pour some water on some computers and get the hell out of there. Right, right. right. You know what I mean? <laughs> get right. that information and get out of there. You know what I mean? Yeah. The machine is not for us. Yeah, I mean, for us. The machine is not <laughs> built for us, man. I got you. They I don't want you. us in there, son. They don't want us inside there learning and shit. Unless we cool it. Unless we dancing and can't on it. We, that's what I'm saying. We some entertaining motherfuckers. Yeah. We love it. And that's fine, man. But everything, every the rich people can't be doing that, too. Like, you rich. You got to be, you, your message should be different. Yeah. It's like, you, you could be telling people, you could be doing such different, putting out different messages. Look at what we doing with our side. We killing and shooting and we in the club and we dancing. You up the top, putting down the same, like, yeah. you pulling the strings to it. Right. Instead of controlling it, because we Collecting know what's happening. checks every month. That's what I'm saying, man. I don't want to get all philosophical. Yeah. But hip-hop, man, has changed, and it's like, if it's going to have this killery, murdery tint to it all the time, man, yeah. it's like, we can't allow that to happen to something that we knew was, wasn't even supposed to be that. Facts, it's like the same thing that happened to us in the first place. Mm-hmm. We became mongrels and killers and animals when we the most loving, as peaceful as people on earth. Like, stop it. Took all the resources and gave it crack. St- took our stories and turned it into, you know what I mean? Yeah. Come on, man. It's yeah. like, we're not killers and animals, man. We're not thugs. We're not all. Yeah. We can be. Right. You know what I mean? But that story is getting perpetuated. And, and a lot of that shit is not just by accident. That shit yeah. is fucking constructed like for you to be that way. Right. And right. build it generationally. But, man, we can go on to a whole right, other podcast right, right, talking right, about right, that right, shit. Right, my bad, man. Like but, I said, I get feeling the topic. That's why I don't have no podcast. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm just happy. I appreciate you coming out, doing Thank this, you, man. man. Thank Tell you, the man. people where they can find you, bro. Or where yeah, they can man. come book some time over here at this beautiful facility, bro. <laughs> they got rooms over here. They got rooms over there. You can smoke. You can drink. Kick your feet up. Think. Easy, man. You know Easy. what I'm saying? And get that good quality, man. Make sure y'all check out. I guess, what, what, what would you call this? The Nest Studios, UCM Media? UCM Media, man. Okay, UCM, UCM Media. Media. Uh, we make got sure Make sure you link with my man, Gunna yeah. G's. Where can they find you? Uh, go to the nestrecordingstudio.com, utmradio.com, utmmedia.com. That's us, man, UTM Media. Man, man. So this has been another episode of No Scope TV. I got my man Gunna G's in the motherfucking belt. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't even paying attention. We over here on that good. You know what I'm saying? We smoking that pressure. Uh, you know how we do it as black people. And this, this has been another episode of No Scope TV. And we out this bitch, man. Thank you. Yo. I'm the man with the iron. Leave them all ghosts. Throwing shots, eyes closed. That's a no scope. That's a no scope.